so please ask your preview questions um, ahead of the final today. Um, we have 15 minutes, so we're going to try and get in as many questions as we can. Um, Oms, just quickly, what a match. Just give us your initial thoughts. Yeah, crazy match. I'm, uh, I'm glad that I stayed in the match and uh, was playing better and better after. So hopefully now one more match to, to go. How would you describe the path you've had to take this year versus last year in facing all these highly ranked players and former major champions just to make it to the final? Yeah, I think uh, this this uh, this year the um, the draw is much tougher. Playing against uh, amazing players that not only they play good on uh, any surface, but they play amazing on grass. Uh, that was very challenging, but also maybe it's a good thing that gives me more confidence to uh, to be ready for the final and also uh, getting that rhythm of playing, you know, um, great tennis to be ready for uh, for the next match. Bye. Um, um, congratulations. Uh, it seems like obviously last year was incredible, but it seems like you're playing at an even better level this year. It's obviously been a difficult year with a lot of injuries, so I'm just curious what what does, I guess, struggles of this year have given you and, and how they've helped you in, in The first thing that uh, comes to my mind is patience, you know. Uh, it teaches me how to, to be very patient and accept whatever happened to me uh, with the injury because it was out of my control. I couldn't do anything about it. Um, I was trying my best to uh, to be ready for the competition. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if you tell me uh, you get injured and be in the final of Wimbledon, I will take it. Hi, Ons. Congratulations. Um, you said on the court that the old you would have lost this match today. I just wondered how old are we talking? Would you, have, 12 months ago, have lost that match today? Um, probably, yeah, 12 months ago, uh, for sure. Uh, maybe also uh, a little bit before, like uh, six months ago, you know, it's a, it's a different player. Uh, I'm, I'm working on myself like like crazy you have no idea what I'm, I'm doing and every time there is something i I'm, I'm very tough with myself and try to improve everything uh and um, very impatient sometimes which is not good so that's why uh maybe the injuries did slow me down and, and teach me how to be patient and and accept what's going on uh for me i uh, always believed in in uh in mental in in working on it and and that's what i've been doing for the past years uh, since I was maybe <laughs> 10 years old, because uh, I know if you are not ready physically, mentally, you can always win. And, and that's probably what happened in the last two matches. Hi, I'm Howard Fenderich with the Associated Press. Is it fair to say that last year here uh, showed you that you could win a Grand Slam tournament, something maybe you weren't previously believing or aware of? and I'm also wondering if there are things that you can take away from last year's final here that you think you can apply and help you for Saturday this time. Um, yeah, my, last year was my uh, first final of a Grand Slam, so definitely uh, getting closer to to winning the Grand Slam that I always wished, you know. Um, I would say I always believe, but, you know, sometimes you would question and doubt it if, if it's going to happen, if it's ever going to happen. And being in the last stages, I think it, it does help you believe more. Um, and for me, um, I'm going to learn a lot from from not only Wimbledon's final, but also US Open final and uh, give it my best. And maybe this year it was all about trying two times and getting it right the third time. So let's see. Hi, Alan Antonio from La Repubblica. Congratulations. Uh, what did you change after being down 4-1 in the second set? What What was the... Was it 4-2? 4-2. Four, 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 yeah. Apologies. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, it, for me, it was just one serve, you know, one, one game, one serve. Uh, it just wanted to try to break her. Uh, it, it was very difficult for me to return her serve. Um, especially, you know, she, she was mixing a lot. She was, uh, even the speed was, was, uh, difficult. So I was like, 
honestly, I'm not going to give a shit. I'm just going to go in and hit hit my return. And yeah, it was it was it was coming. I was returning much better. Uh, she missed, you know, uh, some shots that did help me stay in the game. Uh, I was fighting every every point, and uh, you know, we just wait for a little bit of chance, some time to to get the game, and that's what happened. What type of match are you expecting in the final against a player profile like uh, Ramos Sada? <laughs> I'm going for my revenge. I mean, I didn't win against her uh, this year, so um, I she she has good hands. She plays very good, and uh, honestly, I will try to focus on myself a lot. Um, I'm not sure how she's gonna play a second Grand Slam final. I believe, and um, we're both hungry to win, uh, and whoever deserves it more will win. Hi, from Manchester English. Um, I spoke with a few of your fans before the final, and they called you the Minister of Happiness for Tunisia. So, how are you dealing with the hopes and expectations of people who think you bring them so much uh, joy? Well, the the good thing about those people, they always tell me, um, "Win or lose, we love you," and that's uh, and that's a great great words to hear. I always try to remember that, even though I know everybody wants me to. Uh, <laughs> to win, <laughs> they're they're funny because uh, a few fans are texting my mental coach, giving her advice of how to coach me. So, <laughs> uh, and I'm sure they texted Isam too and Karim. So, um, for me, there is one goal. I'm I'm going for it. I will prepare 100%, and and hopefully, you know, I can I can make uh, history not just for Tunisia but for uh, for for Africa. Hi, Hans. Um, you. You, you mentioned you played all these Grand Slam champions in the run-up to uh, this final. Now you're playing someone who's not a Grand Slam finalist, but certainly doesn't have the resume of the players you played beforehand. How do you prepare yourself uh, mentally for that kind of challenge compared with the challenge that has come in the previous matches the last few days? I think um, a final is a final. You know, you're playing someone uh, uh, Grand Slam champion or not, I think is going to be very difficult. Uh, um, it could. It